can hold classes at school <laughs> on this. And so for me to make it as simple as possible, because you guys really don't need to know much at all about it. Okay. But we're going to try this. Okay. We're going to have a cell. We have a nucleus in the cell. Okay. Inside the cell, or the nucleus, what is, what is inside the nucleus? Um, oh, DNA. Perfect, DNA, bingo. And DNA, you remember, is this double-stranded, like a double helix, like this double-stranded thing that looks like this. So, it's it's big. It's a bigger molecule. There's these little holes in the in the nucleus called nuclear pores. DNA can't fit through. Okay. And then our ribosomes are. Do you need to know nuclear pore? Do you need to know it? Maybe. Okay. Your ribosomes are out here, right? Mm-hmm. So DNA. What's the purpose of DNA? That's the function. Um. It's like, wait, it's like the blueprint, or is that RNA? It's the blueprint, right? Okay. It has the information. It has the information we need to make proteins. What makes proteins? Uh. <clears throat> ribosomes, right? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. So ribosomes make proteins. So how are we going to get the information from the DNA that is stuck in the nucleus to the ribosome? Well, that's the reason we have transcription and translation. Wait, so you're trying to get the DNA? We're trying to get the information. So this contains the information uh -huh. to that ribosome, and okay. it's too big and can't go out. Okay. So that's the purpose of transcription and translation. So okay. the way I remember is alphabetical order. Trans or transcription has a C. That was, that's what comes first. Okay. If you were to transcribe something, like if I were to ask you to define transcribe, what what would that mean to you? Um, like copy something down? Right? Yes, to like make a copy of, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're writing the same thing down that you're looking at. Mm -hmm. So, DNA will split up temporarily to make a single strand Mo or, you know, molecule, macromolecule. Because RNA will come in and attach to make an exact copy of it. Single oh, strand, right? Oh, okay. So RNA is coming in and binding. So let's say this is a, a C on the DNA. It puts a G there, right? Okay, why does it put a G there? Because G matches up with C. Remember oh. A T G C? Is that for DNA? For DNA. Except if there's an A here, in RNA it's a U. Okay. It's a T. So it just makes a single strand copy of the information. It's literally like if I were to take your notebook and put it through a copy machine. I just put it on a single sheet? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so now we have a single strand. With the exact same information, it's not as big as the DNA. Okay. So the DNA can't fit because it's, it's double stranded and it's big. Okay. Um, RNA is a single strand and small. Okay. Got it. So now our single strand RNA, and this is actually called, you don't really need to know this, but I'll make you smarter, I guess. Messenger RNA or mRNA, but mm -hmm. it's RNA. So it makes a single strand of RNA. So this is transcription. So transcription. Do I need to know about the CA stuff? Yes, I would know that A matches with T and G matches with C, except for with RNA, it's A with U. Okay, wait, so do I... Sorry, I'm just gonna do the... Okay, so the A, T, C, G, C, let me just write down a bit. Okay, DNA is the A, T, G, C. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then what's RNA? A, U, G, C. A, U, G, C. Um, do those 
mixed together or you know I mean why why does it change I don't know why <laughs> RNA has a U instead of a T I just know it's made up different but it doesn't change at all it's making an exact copy like if there's a C there there's gonna be a G there if there's a T here there's gonna be an A there okay so um G and C go together and A and T go together. Yeah. But then R and A, A, A and U go together. Yep. Okay. Got it. Okay. So we have our single strand RNA. So we did transcription, now we're going to do translation. If I were to tell you, or to define translation, what would you say? Um. Well, when you translate a language, you're just... Um, what are you doing when you translate a language? You, uh, you make it understandable? Or so you take it from one language turn and it turn it into a different language, right. right? So you take it from one form and turn it into a different form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what we're doing here. So we have our mRNA, which is now able to travel through. So our little mRNA travels through. And it comes to this ribosome. Okay. <clears throat> this ribosome, this you don't need to know as much, but it'll help you understand what's going on. This oh, so all of this happened in the nucleus? Yes. Okay. This is happening out in the cell. This is what a ribosome looks like. It has a big part and a little part. Okay. The RNA comes in, like, it has little. So let's say this is AUG. Okay. Okay. So. Wait, these circles are both the ribosomes? Yeah. Okay. So you have your mRNA that comes in here, your messenger RNA, that little copy, like if we were to make a copy of your notebook, that, that single sheet piece of paper copy. Mm -hmm. There's these little tRNA floating around that look like this. That's called a tRNA, and T stands for transfer. Like I said, you don't really need to know that. Other than the thing you do need to know, so it reads this three. The, the ribosome reads it in threes. That's called codon. Okay, that little thing's called codon? Mm -hmm. And then this is called an anticodon. The mm -hmm. So, let me describe this as if we were cooking. <coughs> so I give, your grandma has a secret recipe for cookies. Okay. It's super valuable. It's like the most valuable recipe in your family. You go, Grandma, I really want this recipe for your cookies. Your grandma goes, well, it's too valuable, but I'll make you a copy. I, I want to keep the original just because I don't want to lose that. So I'll make you a copy. Your grandma makes you a copy of the recipe. Mm -hmm. She then get, mails the, the recipe to you, so you have the copy of it. So you have the copy. You start reading the copy. You're the ribosome, and the RNA is the recipe. Okay. So you read it, and the first ingredient you read is sugar. Okay. You're going to go to your pantry and your sh shelves, and you're going to look around, and you're going until you find something that says sugar, and you go, this matches what I need. Exact same thing with ribs and this. It reads this code on and goes, AUG. Okay, I need to find something that matches that. So it looks around it, looks for all these TNRNA and it goes, boom. I found one that matches. And so he even goes and brings it down and attaches it to it. Once it finds what once you find what matches, like in your recipe, so you find the sugar, you're gonna add the sugar into a bowl, right? You're gonna put the sugar in. Uh -huh. Once it finds what matches, it's going to add that amino acid to the bowl. So that little circle attaches, it goes there. And it keeps reading. Next ingredient, you look around flour. Okay, fine. Okay, I put flour into the bowl. So that's the next amino acid. Okay, um, eggs. Okay, I'm going to look around, find eggs. Oh, I found eggs. I'm going to put eggs into the bowl. You keep doing that. 
You remember what the monomer of small molecule proteins was? Uh, give me a sec. Protein? No. Uh, amino acids? Amino acids. You have amino acids, a chain of amino acids together, these little balls. So, amino acid. A chain of amino acids is? A protein. A protein. Bingo. So translation is reading the RNA to make a protein. Okay. Does that make sense how it does that? Um, read. Uh, so, yeah, let me just describe it really quick. So, um, the mRNA comes through the nucleus to go to the ribosome, and then the ribosome has the codon. And the Reads the codons, yeah. So this, this section of three, think of it as like a chapter, or... Wait, so th this little thing isn't a codon? No, this isn't a codon, this is. The, okay. the fact, like, three of the letters put together is a codon. Okay, so th that little part, does that thing have a name? Does that need a name? No, okay. no it does, but you, no. <clears throat> okay, so the rhizome reads the codon, and then, then it reads the anti-codon. And matches them. And matches them together, and then they... Oh, and then that little, um, is that amino acid yep. on top of it? The amino acids get put together to yep. make a protein. Exactly, but get put into the bowl because they read what it needs to put in. Okay. Now the last step of this is very important. So you went from DNA to RNA to protein, right? Mm -hmm. That's a very basic way of writing, you know, what, what we went through. Last thing that you need to write right here. Proteins make up who you are. You're, okay. Everything about you, pretty much, is made up of proteins. Okay. So, how do we know that your DNA tells for blue eyes? And it goes back here. You know, we get the copy of it, the copy goes to here, goes to the ribosome. The proteins are made to make your eyes blue. Mm -hmm. You know, it's anything, hair, your skin, your height, your bones, your organs, your blood, tons, there's proteins all over you. So literally, when we say it's the blueprint for your body, does that make sense now? Why DNA is the blueprint of yeah. you? Yeah, because it just makes everything. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's transcription, translation. And like I said, the way I don't get mixed up is alphabetical order. Um, it's C and L. Okay, so, um, how does, what's, ch it's, so it's changing the RNA to different, it's, it's reading, why is it called translation? Because it's taking information of one source and converting it into a different, so it's reading RNA mm -hmm. and changing it into a protein. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Just like. I'm taking English into Spanish. It's English is a different form than Spanish. Mm -hmm. RNA is a different form than the protein. And so it's taking one set of information and translating it into a different Got form. It. Yeah. While transcription, you're literally copying and pasting. Okay. So, you know, transcription, copy, pasting, translation, you're changing the form of the information. So. Okay. Got it. Okay, I understand that a lot better. Okay, hopefully I didn't confuse you. I try, no, like I said, no, you didn't. there's whole classes on campus that you can... On this? Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's a